Hi guys, thanks for visiting us at RS Aquaculture. Do like and subscribe if you like our content. Uh, today we're going to show you an incomplete molting cycle for a soft shell crab. So what we have here today is a previous shell that the crab has shredded in our system. As you can see immediately, it has a claw that is stuck onto the XO shell, suggesting that the crabs have actually faced difficulty during the molting process and it actually decided to left leave one of its claw uh, in its old shell. So as you can see, if we try to pull, we can, we can manually retrieve uh, this part and you know, harvest it for soft shell crab or other purposes. So as you can see, these are gills, which are also commonly left behind uh, during the molting process. So crabs uh, have a new set pairs of gills uh, in their new shell. Uh, upon examining other parts of the old shell, we can also see that some walking legs and a swimming leg was actually left behind the old shell. So meaning that the new soft shell crab would be lack of uh, these walking and swimming legs and it would take time to regenerate them uh, with under its new shell. So this is how the shell, the crab uh, actually looked like uh, after the molting process. One important thing you can see that the gills are actually on the outside of the crabs and we occasionally see some of this and the crabs will not usually uh, be alive for much longer. At this point, we will just harvest them for soft shell crabs. And that's all for today. Thanks again for visiting RS Aquaculture.